the water jet can cut through any sheet material with a thickness of up to 150 millimeters. Due to the nature of water jet cutting, not all materials are suited for cutting. For instance, MDF, or medium density fiberboard, will absorb water during cutting, while plywood will cut just fine. Porous, grainy, or uneven materials like granite and travertine may shatter when cut. Cutting thick materials will deflect or bend the water beam, causing visible trails in the cut. The water is pressurized to 4000 bar and squeezed through a 0.25 mm orifice, so the material you cut must be firmly mounted on the cutting bed. Use the clamps if necessary. Smaller parts may need micro joints so they do not move when cut. For glass and soft materials, that is materials you can cut by hand, you only need to use the water beam. For harder materials, sand is added to the water beam, making an abrasive cut. You can cut using either three or five axes. The three axis cut can be regarded as a two dimensional cut. It's easy to set up, but it only allows for vertical cuts. The five axis cut lets you angle the water beam. For the five axis cut, you need to consider the material thickness and produce upper and lower profile curves. Even with all these restrictions, water jet cutting is an amazing tool that will truly help you fabricate designs in full scale.